Hi dear friends welcome back to our YouTube channel Milestones of Our Life. In today's video, we will discuss about what is coronavirus, symptoms of 2019 novel coronavirus disease or COVID-19, and also prevention and treatment. As we all know, prevention is always better than cure. And better awareness will help us to protect ourselves from this kind of viruses. I have taken all the information from WHO official site. Dear friends, this video is only for your awareness and should not be used for the diagnosis or treatment of the condition. Always consult a doctor or other health care professional for the diagnosis and treatment of medical conditions. Hello Barrow. Good morning. Oh. Miss Green. Good morning. Are you all right? You look so worried. What's the matter, dear? Oh, Miss Green, for the last few weeks I heard a lot about coronavirus. I heard that the current outbreak of this disease was first reported from Wuhan, China, on the 31st of December 2019. But I don't have a clear idea about it. To be honest, I am really worried about this disease. And how we can stay safe from this illness. Oh! Are you going somewhere urgently? Oh no dear! I can stay back with you and I can explain some details to you. Thank you so much Miss Green. You are so kind. As you heard, in December 2019, there was a cluster of pneumonia cases in China. Investigations proved that this infection was caused by previously unknown virus which is now named as 2019 novel coronavirus. Actually what is this coronavirus? Coronaviruses are a large group of viruses. The virus has a core of genetic materials surrounded by an envelope with protein spike which gives the appearance of a crown. In Latin, corona means crown. That's why the virus got this name. Aha! Uh -huh. That's interesting. You know Miss Green, I heard that these viruses can be found in both animals and humans. Is that right? Yes, you are right. Miss Green, do you know whether all these viruses cause disease with same severity? Actually there are different types of coronaviruses which can cause respiratory and sometimes gastrointestinal symptoms. Respiratory disease can range from common cold to pneumonia. And in most people the symptoms can be mined. However, there are some types of coronavirus which can cause severe disease which include severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus or SARS-CoV. It was also first identified in China in 2003. Okay. And the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus that's MERS-CoV which was first identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012. Now the latest one, 2019 novel coronavirus is also first identified in China. Oh dear. This is what worrying me. How long does the virus survive on surfaces? It is not known. How long is the incubation period? It can range from 1 to 12.5 days. Actually how this outbreak came up. As we told in the beginning, it was initially occurred in a group of people with pneumonia. It was associated with seafood and live animal market in the city of Wuhan. The disease is then spread from the infected to the family members and health care professionals. To be honest, there are many cases at present and the disease spread within China and also to a number of other countries. So from where did this virus come from? Usually coronavirus circulate in a range of animals. Sometimes the viral can spread from animals to humans which is known as a spillover. It can be caused by various factors for example mutation of the virus or due to increased contact between human and animals. The animal reservoir of 2019 novel coronavirus are not known yet. Dear, how it is transmitted. The exact dynamics is not known yet. 
In general, respiratory viruses are spread via droplets when the infected person coughs or sneezes or through something which have been contaminated by virus. Who all are most susceptible? Okay. It include people who are in close contact with animals, live animal market workers and those who are caring for people infected with virus such as family members or health care workers. Apart from that older people and people with pre-existing medical conditions like diabetes and heart diseases are more prone. How the people will be presented if they are infected? From what is known so far there may be a number of symptoms ranging from minor to severe. There can be fever, respiratory symptoms such as cough and shortness of breath. In more severe cases there may be pneumonia, kidney failure and death. The mortality rate is not known yet. So it is very very dangerous. Oh! How this illness is diagnosed? By a test called PCR or polymerase chain reaction. Is there any treatment available? Actually, there is no specific medication but the treatment is mainly supportive care. Is there any vaccine available to prevent this illness? Not really. Treatment and vaccines are in development. Do you mean that the antibiotic is not effective in treating or preventing this virus? Yeah. Antibiotics do not work against viruses. The novel coronavirus is a virus. And therefore antibiotics should not be used as a means of prevention or treatment. Oh God, then we need to take proper preventive precautions, right? Yes of course. Actually the standard hygienic measures will help us to protect from this illness and further spread. Oh, really? What are those standard hygienic measures? It is nothing but covering your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing with a medical mask or tissue, or flexed elbow. Avoid close contact with affected person. Okay. Do we need to wear the mask always? Appropriate use of mask and personal protective measures should be practiced in healthcare setting. Healthy people have to wear a mask only if they are carrying a person with suspected 2019 novel coronavirus infection. You may need to wear a mask if you are coughing or sneezing. Remember, masks are effective when used in combination with frequent hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water. Another thing is that, if you are using mask, you should know how to dispose it properly. Never ever forget to wash your hands regularly with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub. How we can prevent infection from the animal source? Well, we can avoid unnecessary unprotected contact with animals. Then wash the hands thoroughly after any contact with animals or animal products. We should definitely confirm that the animal products are well cooked before consuming. It is important to stay at home if you feel unwell. I have heard that if we have fever, cough or difficulty breathing we need to seek immediate medical advice, is that right? Yes of course. You need to share the travel history to the health care provider. Can I ask you one more thing? What should I do if I have mild respiratory symptoms, as I never traveled to or within China? That's a good question. You can carefully practice basic respiratory and hand hygiene and stay home until you recovered, if possible. You know, I have some business connection with China. Is it safe to receive a package from China or any other place where the virus has been identified? Oh yes, I know. As per WHO instructions, it is safe. People receiving packages are not at risk of contracting the new virus. From experience with other coronaviruses, we know that these type of viruses don't survive long on objects, such as letters or packages. Oh! It is a great relief. You explained everything in detail. Thanks a lot for all your valuable information. That's fine. Hi dear friends. Hope you all got a detailed understanding of 2019 novel coronavirus disease that is COVID-19. If you like our video, please share it and subscribe to our YouTube channel Milestones of Our Life. Once again thanks a lot for all your support and encouragement. Bye for now. 
See you in the next video.